the pool of folks who can refinance right now. With the presidential election just weeks away, a familiar question being asked is, are you better off today than you were four years ago? While the answer to that depends on who you ask, when applied to the housing industry, which helped tank the economy four years ago, the answer is more universal. When we compare where the housing market is today to where it was when Obama took office in January 2009, in many ways the housing market is actually doing much better. Almost four years ago, prices were plummeting, but now they're rising almost everywhere in the country. The housing market is slowly recovering after a six-year slump, thanks in part to record low mortgage rates and more stable home prices. Lax lending standards and a misconception that home prices would continue to rise caused the collapse. Today, prices are stabilizing and lending standards have tightened, but not so far that a 20% down payment is a hard and fast requirement. FHA loans are still a very viable option for people who want to put as little as 3.5% down. I, I do recommend that if people have more to put down that they try and go conventional if possible. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that they should prevent themselves from going that route. Banks are making headway on foreclosed properties that have weighed on home prices, but not everywhere. Florida especially is still dealing with that overhang of foreclosures. But on almost every other measure, the housing market is in better shape than it was four years ago. The housing industry enjoyed a string of positive reports this week, from the best builder confidence in years to a huge jump in new construction. Uh, I do think the numbers are going to continue to rise. Uh, does it mean that we're you know, on the brink of getting out of this recessionary position that we're in? No. Pressel expects the momentum to continue, but stresses that market factors, not government intervention, will be the key going forward. Yes, we're going in the right direction, but there's so much work to do. So is housing better off four years later? Short answer, yes. But a full recovery might have to heed another popular election motto, four more years. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.